story in my Yoma Joy said. Essential topics for youth. This topic, entitled Essential Topics for Youth, was compiled for the Burmese Youth and World Youth. Gord Dundon points out that morality is more valuable than wealth and health. It should be our most precious possession. The best morality is to do good, to avoid all evil and to keep our mind pure. In order to have good morality, we must observe five moral precepts. These are the avoidance of killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying and taking intoxicants. If everyone abides by their precepts, all living beings can live peacefully and happily. We will enjoy world peace. So we should avoid bad companions and associate with good companions. Pride and vanity will bring a fall. Truth is noble and honesty is the best policy. Be honest with yourself, others. When you are honest, you will be trusted by the Lord Buddha, BC 623, BC 543, and Lord Jesus Christ, BC 5 AD 30, and by those around you. Dishonesty hurts you and usually hurts others as well. When you lie, steal, shoplift, or cheat, you damage your spirit and become less able to do good things. Be honest in your job, giving a full amount of work for your pay. You are at the beginning of your journey through this mortal life. Your Lord Buddha wants your life to be joyful and to lead you back into his presence. The decisions you make now will determine much of what will follow during your life and throughout eternity. Every person should possess a moral courage to lead a useful life. We should have courage to do what is right and to abstain from evil deeds. We should have courage to speak the truth and about democracy and human rights and to speak out in the public. We should be courageous to stand for our rights. When we encounter losses and unpleasantness in life, we must have courage to be cheerful and to try again. We should develop both physical courage and moral courage as much as we can. Then, courage is most essential for everybody. One of the most admired virtues of man is courage. A courageous man is always respected and loved and honored, whereas a coward is reproached by all. But there are two kinds of courage. They are the physical courage and the moral courage. The physical courage is the ability to face men's blame, scorn, anger, and all sorts of difficulty in life. The moral courage is the ability to do what is right and avoid what is wrong. It is very rare to find both types of courage in the same person. The stories of many courageous men were recorded on the pages of Burmese history. They were known to possess both physical and moral courage. We also meet courageous men and women in everyday in Burma and in the world. Service to others is one of the most important characteristics of disciple of Lord Buddha and Lord Jesus Christ. A disciple is willing to bear other people's burdens, stress and to comfort those who need comfort. Often the most important service is expressed through simple, everyday acts of loving kindness. Your heart will be filled with love. Choose your friends carefully. They will greatly influence how you think and act and even help determine the person you will become. Choose friends who share your values so you can strengthen and encourage each other in living high standards. A true friend will encourage you to be your best self. To have good friends, be a good friend yourself. Show interest in others and let them know you care about them. Treat everyone with kindness and respect. And the way you dress is a reflection of what you are on the inside. Your dress and grooming send messages about you to others and influence the way you and others act. When you are well groomed and modestly dressed, you invite the companionship of the spirit and can exercise a good influence on those around you. Never lower dirty your dress standards for any occasion. Doing so sends the message that you are using your body to get attention and approval and that modesty is important only when it is convenient. Every should also maintain modesty in their appearance. We are responsible to choose the right way. You will feel good about yourself and will be a positive influence in the lives of others. You will be worthy to go to the temple or to go to, to receive teachings ordinances. These blessings and many more can be yours. You pray for each of you. May you keep your minds and bodies clean from the sins of the world so you can do the great work that lies before you. Be willing to work diligently and make sacrifices to obtain learning education is an investment that brings great rewards. You live in a competitive world where a good education opens the doors of opportunity that may otherwise be closed to you. The teachers and parents want you to educate your mind and improve your skills and abilities. Education will help you to be an influence for good in the world. It will help you better provide for yourself and your loved ones and those in need. The Lord Buddha correctly says that there is no greater gift than good health. It is most important 
that we take care of ourselves to be healthy and sound. We must try to be healthy both physically and mentally. To enjoy a happy and successful life, it is most essential that we must be healthy in body and mind. Never use tobacco products such as cigarettes, snuff, chewing tobacco, cigars and pipe tobacco. What is the way to get healthy? 1. The first rule is to breathe in fresh air. 2. The second rule to drink plenty of pure water or boiled water. 3. The third rule is to eat plain bowls of food. 4. The fourth rule is to get enough sleep and rest and relax. 5. The fifth rule is to keep ourselves and your surroundings clean with body and mind. 6. The sixth rule is to take suitable physical exercises such as walking, playing sports and regularly. Physical exercises make us fit, fresh and healthy. Any form of alcohol is harmful to your body and spirit. 7. The seventh rule is to excrete from the internal body regularly. Everyone used to say that health is wealth. But health is actually much more valuable than wealth. Prevention is better than cure. I'll temper anger or hatred, dissatisfaction and sadness. Stress and strain and worry upset our body mechanism and make us sick. So we must develop loving kindness, goodwill, generosity and unselfishness to drive away bad moods and evil feelings. To keep our mind healthy is not less important than to keep our body healthy. An example is always better than precept. Due to their teachings, I know clearly what is good and what is bad and what is best and what is worst. I must always do good and best and avoid evil for the welfare of all. Honor your parents by showing love and respect for them and by being obedient. Be willing to health in the home with chores that need to be done. Participate in family activities and traditions. Set a good example for other family members. Do you part to build your happy home? Be cheerful, helpful, and considerate of others. Many problems in the homes are created because families members speak or act selfishly or unkindly. Concern yourself with the needs of other family members. Seek to be a peacemaker rather than to tease, fight and quarrel. Parents under any circumstances should avoid from quarreling, acting rudely, divorcing between themselves, threatening to get divorced occasionally, speaking very rudely. As these kinds of behavior seriously hurt the feelings of the children, the parents should refrain from creating such scenes in front of them. The parents should be aware that if they keep on quarreling now and then, children would feel isolated and insecure for their future and the health of their mind is threatened. Naturally, the children yearn for kindness and love from their elders, parents and teachers. If they are loved, they also reciprocate similarly. They desire their family to have between parents and children, brothers and sisters, among sisters themselves. Parents should provide love and care to their children all the time, should answer their queries, Patients must be able to explain to them the dose of the dose it is also necessary to avoid being too disciplined, too liberal, too favoring and to refrain from being extreme. The parents should be patient with their children. They must teach their children with perseverance. They must be able to teach their children to understand the good and the bad, to get right from the basics. If the parents themselves cannot be patient with their own children, then who else would be so? Good manners are something our parents and other adults usually teach us as a child. Having good manners means showing honor and respect to everyone around you. It means being polite. It includes humility, humanitarian outlook, compassion, loving kindness and understanding. Parents, teachers and other adults should always be examples of good manners. If adults are rude to children, then children will learn to be rude. If parents are impolite to each other, then children will learn to be impolite. If children hear one adult insulting another, they will learn to speak that way, too. There are three important things we must remember. Children's confidence in their parents are very important. Children regard their parents as their heroes, powerful benefactors. Parents are highly regarded in their confidence. Parents should understand that their actions and what they say are regarded as examples by the children. Parents change the environmental situation, model character, behavior and qualifications, etc. should be example for their children. Thus, it is important that the parents should have good mind, good character, good behavior, good thinking, discipline, law-abiding and good-mannered. Humility, 
forgiveness, sacrifice, tolerance, and loving kindness are the noblest weapon to conquer with. One must have love and respect for one's own country, religion, literature, family, culture, nationality for all in the same way. They love and respect to their country, their religion, their literature, their family, their culture, and their nationality. There are different kinds of countries, races, thoughts, religions, such as Chinese slash China, Indian slash India, Burmese slash Burma, English slash England, Japanese slash Japan, American slash USA, and Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, Muslim. These factors were very important to the world and everyone. It must not be neglected. But the essential factor is not races, religions, positions, etc. Mental attitude, honesty, diligence, character, unity, patience, justice, optimism, forgiveness, love, mercy, peace, open-minded, sacrifice, humility, moral ethics, etc. are more important above all. Everyone has the right to freedom of speech, the right to freedom of thought, conscience, religion, opinion and expression, peace, security in person. Everyone must be recognition and respect for the human rights and human dignity of others. One must be able to oneself analyze. Each and every one of us should follow and live according to the teachings of one's own religion. The one who does not respect another's culture and religion does not respect his own. The one who respects another's culture and religion respects his own. All the teachings concerning culture, thoughts, opinion, beliefs and practices are valuable in their own ways. The important factor is that the follower of a concerned religion must follow the teachings sincerely. I appreciate the teachings of other religions and the appreciation of other nationalities of their culture are all noble and valuable in their own way. There cannot be 100% similarities among religions, nationalities, any opinions, cultures, philosophies, skin views, mental attitudes, sex, language, political, social origin, property, visions of people in the world. There would be more beneficence from performance of seeing with love and sympathetic mind with optimistic view for a particular thing rather than blaming or extreme criticize with a pessimistic view in contrast to others. The English culture is best for the English while the Burmese culture is good for the Burmese. The Indian culture is also best for the Indian people while the Chinese culture is good for the Chinese people. Likewise, Christians must obey the teachings of the Bible, Buddhists must obey the teaching of Buddhism, Hindus must obey the teachings of the Hindus and the Muslims, must obey the teachings of Quran. Following points should be observed to do pure mind, good behavior, politeness and gentleness, loving kindness, good perseverance and into power, skillful at work, excellent performance, study skillful in education, self-discipline, self-confidence, Self-respect, self-control, compassion, forgiveness, humanitarian vision, tolerance, humility, honesty, scientific hypothesis, scientific simplicity, optimistic view, reasonable thinking, humanism and justice, mutual respect, mutual understanding, truthfulness, mental attitude, sympathy, abide by the laws, logical arrangement, religiousness, Relaxation, peace and security, respect and appreciate of others, refrain from being extreme, refrain from all evil, to do what is good, respect and recognition for the human rights and human dignity of others, these above good qualities are necessary to be perfect. Hence, it is evident that all the religions of the world bestow upon us the way to success, prosperity and happiness. In my opinion, if all of us sincerely obey the teachings accordingly, the world would be a happy place to live. My Burmese writer and historian, my own mom, and George, thank you very much. Share it. Incorporated. P.O. Box 844. Greensburg, P.A. 15.